welcome this is the energy vibration um, reading for the uh, birthday people and this is uh, for the birthday people this is for the Aries because your birthday is about to begin this is a new month that is coming up so it's going to be um, wonderful okay um, this reading is going from um, the uh, second of April until and let's really focus it's going from the second of April until the eighth of April okay and so this is a wonderful wonderful week you have the energy of the chariot so for the birthday peoples and I have two persons in my life who is very special um, happy birthdays to you guys um, um, you're my family I love you um, to death no matter what happy birthday this is going to be a good year this is the year 2018 that is coming in and for the rest of the people out there who just listen to the videos and it's your birthday and you can do anything in this week because it's your birthday you guys so this is wonderful it's a week of the chariots it's a week of success and this is the beginning of the year 2018 for you guys okay this is going to be a very successful year for you guys because it's the energy of a new beginning it's the energy of movement it's the energy of new stuff new things that is going to be happening in your life in this year of 2018 it's a wonderful wonderful um, week to have a birthday in because we have the energy of the star we have the energy of the the hope the light truth end of a situation new um, situation successful new beginnings this is all wonderful it is a time it is a year that you're going to look at your shadow the shadow side of who you are and this is going to be positive okay um, it is the energy of fire and the zodiac energy of fire also so the energy of fire and the zodiac energy of fire so we're calling up and the angels and guides um, for the for the 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 for the um, Aries people to show us what is it they're supposed to expect in the year 2018 so let's look energy is the energy of hope so a lot of um, new beginnings there is the energy of uh, um, the lovers coming up it's gonna be wonderful because um, ooh, the energy of the Sun oh my god whoever oh god there's some eight and coming in my darling so you have to be aware of that okay um, for the people who are going to have new beginnings new start in their lives there is a lot of eight oh my god um, but biting and that sort of a thing so let's see what else what message is going to come up for the men there is a going to be Ooh, isn't that wonderful oh boy Ooh, the lovers the lovers are oh, oh, oh message Queen of Cups okay all right so you guys have the energy of the chariot which I should show you you have the energy of the chariot that is going to be helping you to move forward um, in this year which is a wonderful energy because you know to have the energy of the chariot that means that a lot of you are going to be um, moving a lot of you are going to be having successful beginnings a lot of you are going to be victorious over a lot of stuff that has been going on so it's going to be a very wonderful positive year especially when the energy of triumphant is in a year and you have the energy of triumphant with this energy of triumphant you're going to find solutions to whatever problem there is okay in this year it's as if the universe is going to open up for you in this year. whatever solution whatever is there a lot of positive energies are going to be coming out for you guys so let's move in the reading and look at the energies for the people who were born on the second the people who were born on the second of um, the second of um, April 2018 
you have light so this is going to be a wonderful positive year for you if you have been going on uh, going through a lot of difficult situations uh, um, when men, if you women have been going through difficult situation in relationship and that sort of a thing, difficult um, situation in money and that sort of a thing, um, for the men it's going to be wonderful. For the women, it's going to be a very positive energy because the energy of the light is bringing positive new energies to your financial world and your love life okay so this is going to be a very very performed and very positive when you have the light and especially um, the masculine feminine aspect so it's going to affect both men and women so for the people who were born on the second of April and my little cousin happy birthday girlfriend because you are gonna be so happy finally you're going to find the right man after all those uh, uh, um, people you're finally going to find the right man money is going to be good for you in this year so whatever your situation is my darlings out there it's going to be good okay so this is wonderful I'm actually loving this energy so we're moving on to the people who were born on the 3rd of April 2nd of April is not a good day for me my grandmother died so anyway as we move on on the 3rd of April another cousin of mine um, love of my heart I needed to tell you the truth but I still love you um, but this is going to be wonderful you're gonna start looking at yourself in the year 2018 you're gonna start looking at your ego based self and by looking at your ego based self in this year 2018 you're gonna be balancing out the ego and your your true self you're going to see that sometimes you use the ego more than you be yourself okay and this is the people who wears a mask they're going to start taking off their mask and be their true self in this year 2018 this is wonderful a lot of you guys are going to be um oh my god it's the two of cups also okay people um, for the people who, who were born on <laughs> the 3rd of April in love this is going to be powerful you're going to be meeting your soulmates this is the two of cups this is the energy of your soulmate your twin flame and soulmate coming in with you looking at yourself so what this is saying this reading is so powerful for you people who are born on the 3rd 2018 you're going to look at yourself okay you're going to be connecting with your your twin flame because this is the energy of twin flame if you look how powerful this reading is is that if you're not in a twin flame relationship you're going to meet the opposite polaria of you because the opposite polaria is the ego side so um my, you know your twin flame is always the opposite of who you are but the love is so strong that you can forgive because you're seeing yourself in that person the opposite sides of you so this is so powerful I'm wishing you guys really I wish I could do a reading so if you were born on the 3rd of April and you'd like to do a reading um, for your year it's good to do it because what is coming up here and what is is showing is that you're going to be meeting your twin flame a lot of people are out there doing twin flame readings and this reading and this love reading and that sort of a thing but they don't understand what is the powerful thing and this has just showed you how powerful the twin flame relationships are because it's the shadow of who you are I should do a video of, on, on that we're moving forward to the people who are having birthdays on the 4th of April this is a wonderful wonderful positive day positive day for you because you're starting the year with the energy of the chariot victory and success and the energy of the light so let's say that you have been going through um, diversity things that were just so horrible you're going to find the inner strength and you're going to be receiving help from the universe and you're also going to be connected with the right people at the right time marriages a lot of marriages are going to be happening a lot of people are going to be getting involved closer relationship um, relationships are going to come in that is going to support you on your journey forward these can be soulmate relationship or soulmate connection but this is a love thing so a lot of you are going to be getting um, 
engage and that sort of a thing and it's going to be wonderful and positive okay as we move forward we're looking at the people who were born on the 5th of April you have the energy of truth the truth is going to come out so whatever lies that people have been um, you know whatever lies that people have been doing even if you have been hiding stuff uh, and whatever that has been going on it's gonna come out the truth is going to come out when the energy of the truth comes out in a year you're going to see the truth of situations that is going on around you um, your psychic is going to help you a lot in this year a lot of people are going to have psychic message to their dreams and that sort of a thing it's as if this year is going to open you up to the truth of whatever that is transpiring the truth of the universe messages are going to be coming in a lot of um, you know positive messages are going to be coming in the truth is going to set a lot of you free and you are going to use the truth to set a lot of people free okay so this is going to be positive for you people who were born on the 5th now for the people who were born on the 6th of April okay number six day April is four okay this year carries the energy vibration of uh, 8019 and 2 um, is 11 okay um, this is going to be a powerful year because 2 and 8, 11 okay this is going to be an extremely powerful year it's going to be a successful year and see the thing fall off so yes it's uh, um, you have the energy of the world okay congratulations with the energy of the suns so listen this is a year that you can use every day in this year to manifest all what you deserve success is going to be coming in to you a lot of you are going to have to deal with the Queen of Cups. So some of you men are going to be connecting in a relationship with the Queen of Cups. This person, this Queen of Cups, is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpion. But if it's a Pisces, it's going to be someone who is going to be helping you to open up new doors and possibilities in your life. So this is going to be just positive. The energy of the world on the sun. It's going to be a positive year for you. So you look out after your birthday, look out from the 7th of April. You are going to see that things are going to magically appear and, you know, reorganize themselves in your life just by acts and just by acts in the universe to help you. Um, the energy of this Queen of Cups that is coming in, there is going to be a situation where it's going to be happening that the Queen of Cups is going to come in to help out a lot of you. And this could be um, in work, in your personal life, in, you know, pleasure of the situation. Okay. For the people who were born on the 7th of April, it's a year of new beginning whatever situation that has transpired in your life there is going to be transition there is going to be transition okay you have to deal with a lot of hate and jealousy in this year be aware because here you have the seven the nine of ones and it is saying you are spiritually protected okay you're going to have to deal with hidden enemies you're going to find out that People who you thought who you thought were with you are actually against you. These are hidden enemies, but you're spiritually protected. That means no matter what comes at you, um, your motto for you guys is going to be no weapon that fall against me shall prosper in this year. It, you know, this is just such a weird thing, and I'm going to give a video over this thing because someone called me on the first when New Year's night and he says I'm just coming from church and I have this message for you you need to say this the entire year no weapon that fall against me shall prosper and I'm giving it to you guys because no weapon that fall against you guys in this year is going to um, move you okay because you're spiritually protected and guide as we move on we are looking at the people who were born on the 8th 
and you guys have to deal with an organization group of people so this is going to be a very karmatic year for you guys because whenever you're dealing with organization and group of people it's going to be a very very karmatic year for you guys so you need to understand the energies that are going to be coming in this year for you guys you are going to be um, protected by friends a lot of new people you're going to meet a lot of new people in organization and that sort of a thing your situation your material needs um, if you're looking for a new car if you want to buy a new house if you want to move if you want to go on a vacation if you want it's as if new people are going to come in your life that is going to help you to move you forward in ways that you weren't expecting and it's going to come out in a positive positive way it's going to be extremely extremely positive for a lot of people who are keeping secrets if you're about to write a book um, it's a good time to publish this book if you want to start a blog it's going to be a good time whatever secrets the people were keeping against you is going to be coming out and I'm so happy for this I hate when people keep secrets I always say I have no secrets because no one can ever think they, they can hold anything over me because I don't believe in having um, um, secrets okay all right I love this energy because um, we are using the unicorn it's like one of my favorite decks and of course my grandmother deck at any time I need to know something I'm always calling up them the wisdom of the oracles and it's my grandmother's deck I call it my grandmother's deck because she was like the wisdom of the Oracle um, okay so here we go and actually I'm using this deck because um, yeah but she's here um okay so let's see what we're having for the birthday people let's show them uh, um this is an energy that is saying that you haven't learned a lesson and um whenever this this whenever this comes up it's as if you haven't learned a lesson you know you, you you know the same thing is going around and around and around because you haven't learned a lesson this is what happened to cosmic things is that the secret you know when people keep secrets and that sort of a thing but when people do not understand certain things the same lesson go around and around and around okay so you need to realize that in this year you need to break the cycle this is a cycle of karmatic lesson that is coming back to you around and around and around again let's see what the unicorns have for you guys a unicorn said you need to look from a higher perspective and whenever this energy comes up it is saying examine your situation from an higher perspective okay and this is going to affect especially the people who were born on the 7th on the 7th the people who were born on the 7th of April that you have to examine a situation from an higher perspective the, the stamping that you hear is my neighbors upstairs okay I'm sorry for that so I am wishing you guys a wonderful wonderful birthday namaste until next time Thank you.